it's too much light. PPL fans, happy Frank Road Day. Welcome all to week three of the PPL transfers. Uh, today we're going to be doing and talking about the transfers that the PPL coaches have done uh, before tomorrow's matches for week four. Isn't that incredible? That's right. That's right. There's quite a bit of things uh, today, you know. It seems like some of the coaches, especially two of them, uh, cannot basically changing their team every damn week. And uh, this is what we have today, you know. This is what we have um, also. Uh, before that, though, we want to uh, basically let you know that last week we forgot about one of the changes. I know, I know, I know, you know. That's usually not what happens, but uh, the transfers chat um is a mess <laughs> not gonna lie it's a mess and uh, the sort of changes missing uh some of them don't appear on the dock and this is what happened last week so what we missed last week that you probably have seen already uh in drew's upload uh drew's from the new york marauders decided to pretty much drop torterra and pick shaman much better grass type in my opinion especially if torterra is not a, a terra captain and um he has changed his terras as well, right? So it had Glimora, which is a very expensive terra, and Dusclops. Uh, it's sad to see Dusclops go, um, you know, as the main terra Pokemon, but uh, he decided to give terra to Hisuian Electrode with that. Uh, you already got me, you know? You already got me, you know what I'm saying? And then Bertic, you know, you probably have seen Bertic already doing some work and being very threatening in the previous match. So if you haven't seen that, how did you hell did you haven't seen that, man? That was awesome. Now we basically begin for uh, the changes that will happen uh, before the next matches, right? And one of them is going to be Gray, you know, Gray V. Jack is going to make uh, a lot of changes to his team, you know, he's going to be dropping Serolege, Hisuian Braviary, all of these changes he's made the weeks before the Terra typings, gone, no more changes on that. You could tell that uh, he was not very happy with this mon, uh, you know, he tried it, but didn't seem to make the cut, right? Uh, Wee's Noz is gone, that's a terrible thing, uh, he had no shame in the victim a whole family of mice, uh, you know, that's just classic Draft League City people here. Uh, terrible, terrible. And he's basically done with the Alolan Sandslash and Slowking um, uh, snow combos, right? No more snow strategies he's done because this Slowking is actually going into a new home. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that exciting? Oh, Slowking is so exciting to go in a new home. He's not going to free agency, he's going to Alex. Right? So Alex is going to be trading this Slowking for the Iron Crown. So Grave is going to be getting, as you see in the in tab, the Iron Crown, as well as going to be creating Talonflame and Amorous T, which are Pokemon that I'm pretty sure Jack has used before as well. Um, he's going to be getting a Salazzle, which I've used in Season 2, and I used it against him. Maybe, maybe he got a little bit of inspiration from me, you know? I want to believe that, you know? That's what I want to believe. And uh, as well, he's going to be picking uh, Furry Giraffe and Lapras. Lapras, uh, very interesting. It's going to be one of the Terra Captains he's going to be picking. This is one of the ones I want to try as well myself someday. And Furry Giraffe, um, I don't know, man. I think this Pokemon could, could have it in him. I think it's a, a little bit underrated in uh, in draft so i can't wait to see what jack's gonna be doing with this uh, you know with this and let me tell you that it has not gone unnoticed how jack is trying to build a giraffe based team huh you think i would not see it you got raging roger how's it called raging bolt <laughs> you got the raging bolt you got the furry giraffe you got the lapras it's kind of a sea giraffe right and uh, now the Iron Crown, which technically a giraffe, right? If you think about it hard enough. Um, so, don't you think I didn't notice? Uh, let me... Th what do you guys think in the, in the comments? Uh, we do have for Jack as well some Terra Captain changes, right? Since uh, Hesuyo Breviary is gone. Terra Captains must change. And he's decided to pick Zarude as one of the main Terra Captains with a Terra Poison. It's a very it was a very good mon, so it only can have one Terra uh, you know, one Terra type, which is going to be poison as said. And then Lapras is the other one. 
Lapras packing the Ghost, Fairy, and Ground. Uh, ground. These three types kind of cover most of the Lapras' weaknesses, to be honest, very nicely. So, uh, Dragon Dancing sets, you know, those are exciting. Uh, Earthquake will get boosted by Terra Ground. Uh, Ghost can have a, you know, you can have an extra spin blocker with that. And then immunity to fighting, so... Uh, and then Fairy is always good, you know, so... Excellent trades here. I'm excited to see some Lapras action. The other team that we've mentioned already is going to be Alex from the Solihull Skarmories. Once again, we have uh, this man in the transfers and uh, he's just he just can't stop. Or Red, you know, at this point. Uh, I've been hearing some things. Uh, but, you know, Gravy and Wandy Bayonet try not to make a, a team change every week challenge. It seems like it's impossible. Right? He has decided to, you know, take out Iron Crown uh, because it went to Jack in exchange for Sloking, and then it picked two Cannon and Executor. Those ones are also gone. He didn't pick them, sorry. He just dropped them. And as you can see, he also fucking dropped Sloking. Sloking really thought he was going to have a new home, and this man just dropped it, abandoned. Uh, abandoned the poor Sloking into the streets of Draftlick City to, to, to die alone. In, in the in the cold pavement of the streets. That's the, this kind of man. What is what is what is going on here? Huh? How could he do this? And he did it for what? For a Heatron? For a Lorantis? That's right. He did it for that. Now you can see the numbers. Maybe these numbers don't make sense to you. But since one of the swaps uh, with Iron Crown uh, with Sloking uh, pretty much have the same cost, uh, basically he didn't lose any money, right? In that case, so. Uh, you have to think that these ones basically get closed, right? Uh, Heatran has finally found a home though, that's good, from Seabats teams last week. And um, as you can see, Alex is trying to deviate himself to not have a full rain team once again. Just to have the rain option, but uh, keep other good mods uh, as well to work without the rain. Which I think is a good idea, to be honest. He decided to change Executor for Lorantis as a better grass type. Not sure what the hell was that Executor even doing there, but I think there was some point restrictions there uh, that only allowed it to pick Executor uh, last time. But uh, interesting changes. Uh, Heatran, Garchomp, a classic combo of mods that I can't wait to see together. Once again, this league, they work together super well. And um, this team is looking strong, you know. It's sad to see, you know, Iron Crown gone from that team, but it has another home already. So uh, maybe Jack's gonna use it better. Who knows? We'll see tomorrow what's gonna happen. And last, but definitely not least, uh, we do have, from the big changes, there's some small changes going around that you'll see later, but one of the biggest changes this week as well is going to be Nexus. Oh boy, Nexus team. He's finally decided to, you know, address the... The, the difficult things on this team, right? The, the things that weren't that uh, good. He has some very nice stuff on the team, but then the other part of the team, you know, it's not looking that fresh, right? So let's see what he's up to with this, right? And he's up to uh, by, you know, removing and getting out the Volcanion, the Brood Bonnet, the Regidragon, Dragon, the Granville, and the Vivillon. Can you believe this? It's sad to see Volcanion. It's very sad to see that the Brood Bonnet gaming is over. You know, but uh, I understand these changes, right? Most of these mods, as you can see, either they're not too fast, they're difficult to use. Like Volcanion, I think he's gonna regret a little bit uh, dropping it, but if he wants to do most of those changes he did, um, it makes sense. Um, it's a hard Pokemon to use, Volcanion, right? Um, it's it's a strong Pokemon. It's good, but. It's not that easy, right? So maybe he's not uh, all about that life at the moment. Brute Bonnet, pretty much the same. I think it's okay, actually. Regidrago can be very good sometimes, but it's just hard to use, right? Doesn't have that much coverage. Uh, Gramble as the only fairy on the team. It's just um, not good, right? He just needs a proper fairy. I think Gramble would shine as a niche fairy pick um, if you already have a good fairy uh, as a main mod, right? Primarina, Sumeru, some of these things, right? Um, and then Vivillon, didn't see much game, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping to see it in action, because I think it's pretty decent, but it's not a good mod, so understandable, he got the boot. And he's picked up an actual fairy, look at that, Sylveon. 
even though it's not as good as it were in previous gens, um, Tilvian is excellent still. And it's a good fairy. It's a proper fairy. You know, it's there. And then we got uh, Appleton, Tauros, Malamar, and Iron Leaves. Um, not sure what the Malamar is all about, but we're gonna see some Malamar gaming. Hey, count me in. Count me in for the Malamar gaming uh, as well. We do have the Appleton as a, kind of a dragon. Dragon and a grass, so, so you had Brood Bonnet and Reggie Drago uh, in a defensive profile with that Mon. Shout outs to uh, Bobby, you know, Bobby reference. And then two new Terra Captains, that's right. Uh, Gengar is not gonna be the new uh, the Terra Captain anymore, and Vivillion is gone, so uh, he has decided to pick the new Terras, which is going to be first Iron Leaves with the uh, Electric and Fighting. Very good. We can have the fighting and actual Viridian there. And Electric, I'm actually not too sure what she's gonna do with that. I think it uh, it might get Super Cell Slam, I'm not sure. But uh, it's interesting, you know, and it gets... Um, I think he's got something planned for that, which is exciting every time. And then he's got another excellent Terra Typing with Taurus, with the Ground and Ghost, right? Uh, ground boosting Earthquake, always great, and Ghost goes well with normal types. Uh, understandable, right? Understandable. Taurus has been an excellent Terra Captain in other leagues. Uh, shout out to uh, Shuckle, uh, Shuckle King for using it uh, very nastily, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so that's the Terra changes as well he's made. And then we have two other teams that have made Terra changes. Just very simple changes. Vepsis is once again here changing his Diancy. Last week he gave it the uh, Fighting Terra type. And now he's going to move this Fighting Terra type to Water. Uh, to give it a more defensive profile. Um, once you see Vepsis doing these switches every week. You know he he's, has a plan for each match. You know, And uh, since there's so many transfers this season. Uh, you can see you know, that he's planning accordingly. Um, weeks ahead on their opponents, which is nice. And last but not least, going to be Mounte. Uh, first time, you know, being in this in this series this year. Mounte basically is going to be packing the Sceptile, right? Uh, Sceptile is gonna lose the hits Terra Captain, you know. Doesn't have the trust of the coach no more. The man is just, uh, you know, we can, we can pretty much study the case, but uh, there's been some a bad relationship between Sceptile and Mounte. Who knows, but he's not longer the Terra Captain. He's still in the team, but no longer the Terra Captain. Now the Terra Captain is going to be none other than Vika Vault to represent the battle of the immunity idols with this Vika Vault with a Water Steel and Electric Terras, right? A Steel Levitator, Ooh, Electric Levitator. Now that's just some immunity, you know? You can say Sceptile is immune. To lead seeds, I guess, and powder moves, but this is a proper, you know, immunity, right? Immunity to ground. Look at that. That sounds sounds dangerous, you know. And then the water type to resist fire moves. Uh, understandable, right? So, uh, good changes. I think um, Ma uh, Mount Days joined the Levitator uh, Terra Pokemon before, so. I'm excited to see what the Vika Ball is going to do this week, guys. He has to do it for this week or the next ones. You know, who knows? But that's it. We finished today. And uh, don't think that the transfers are over. Next weeks are going to keep being intense in transfers, in switches. The trainers, the coaches cannot stop. They're addicted to the transfers. And I think we should look into it, you know. Uh, by subscribing to each of their channels and see what the hell is going on during this week's while they're planning with this I'll see you guys in their videos as a one uh, other viewer and uh, we'll see what happens thank you much thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time see you